CWI prep course, eddy current testing, ET, module 10, part 9. Learning objectives. In this module, we're going to talk about eddy current testing, eddy current basic principles, and eddy current advantages and disadvantages. Eddy current testing uses the principle of electromagnetism as the basis for conducting examinations. Surface and slightly subsurface detection capabilities. Discontinuities, cracks, and pores can be found. Um, the geometry, scratches and undercut. And then material properties, heat treatment, residual stresses, hardness, phase composition, creep, fatigue, and corrosion. Eddy current testing is one of the standard non-destructive testing methods. It uses electromagnetic fields and is very sensitive to many material and geometric variables. Because it, because it is an electromagnetic test, its signals move with the speed of light and its measurements can be made very quickly. Being electrical in nature, eddy current testing can easily be automated and its signals can be used to control other electrical devices. Because the sensing devices are coupled to the test specimens through electromagnetic fields, the devices do not have to contact that test specimen. Eddy current testing can even be used in a vacuum. For these and other reasons, eddy current testing is extensively used throughout the industrial world. Eddy current testing is the process of electromagnetically inducing small electrical currents into an electrically conductive specimen and observing the changes in the effects caused by these currents on the electromagnetic fields. Every variable that affects the induction of eddy currents, their flow in the material, and the reactions to their electromagnetic field is capable of being utilized as a test variable. Eddy current testing basic principles. The flow of eddy current within the material is disrupted by the presence of discontinuities such as cracks, porosity, or inclusions. Discontinuities cause a decrease in the flow of current in the material by increasing the length of the path along which the current must flow, as shown in Figure 2. This results in a reduction of current flow which causes a change in the impedance of the test probe coil. The eddy current testing signal is strongly related to the geometrical shape of the coil, i.e. the size, shape, and positioning of the coil. The relationship between the coil winding and the suspected discontinuities, the effect of change in liftoff or fill factors, the depth of penetration, and the edge effect. Identifying the various factors causing impedance changes depends on the knowledge and skill of the eddy current testing technician. Thus, selecting the appropriate eddy current testing probe is an important part of eddy current testing. There are three major factors that affect eddy current testing. These are material conductivity, geometry, and permeability of the material being tested. In addition, there are contributors that affect the three major factors. So we see here that conductivity can be affected by alloy, hardness, temperature, residual stress, and coatings. Geometry, thickness, discontinuities, coil to material separation, and then permeability, is it ferromagnetic? These are things that need to be taken into consideration by the eddy current testing technician. This figure shows a surface probe as it is placed near the surface of a test article. The alternating magnetic field of the coil is essentially perpendicular to the face of the coil. The induced eddy current flows at a right angle to the magnetic fields. Therefore, the induced eddy current flow is parallel to the surface when the surface probe is held perpendicular to the surface. You can see that it sets up a secondary magnetic field created by the eddy current. And then if you have a defect, it's going to disrupt that eddy current. Same setup where we're inducing a, an eddy current into a material, but you can see where there's a discontinuity. So the secondary magnetic field created by the eddy current 
is disrupted. So that's what we're going to be able to detect. Figure 234 shows an encircling coil installed around a rod. Here, eddy currents flow in the same direction as the current flow in the coil, i.e. around the circumference of the rod. Thus, the encircling coil is especially adapted to locating those discontinuities that are parallel to the length of the rod. The eddy current induced by the internal coil will be the same as the encircling coil, except the eddy current will be concentrated on the inner surface and not the outer surface. Eddy current testing advantages and disadvantages. Advantages. Surface or near surface flaws can be detected. Very sensitive to many variables such as geometry, surface roughness, frequency, electrical conductivity, magnetic properties, and cracks. Direct go no go type answers can be obtained quickly. It's portable, no physical contact required, can be accomplished in a vacuum, not too expensive, easily adaptable to production line situations, electrical signals for electrical controls. Disadvantages, must, invo must involve one or more layers and or surfaces that are electrically conductive or magnetic in nature, requires highly skilled operators when many variables are involved, an adequate separation of variables cannot always be achieved. Summary. In this module we covered eddy current testing, eddy current testing basic principles, and eddy current testing advantages and disadvantages.